Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak uh, about the Jinja template engine and how we're working with that in uh, Python. And then I want to show how you can use uh, a layout file and then have a content file. That's meaning you have an, uh, a global design file and then you include uh, this design file inside a single uh, content. So you can have a design, you don't need to recode every time you change the page from uh, the index to uh, a contact si site like that. So create your first uh, app.py uh, file and you need to install uh, the Jinja. You can find this uh, the complete uh, project on my GitHub file, uh, on my page, sorry, it's the link in the below. So let's starting and we want to create two template files before we are starting. So I create a template folder and then the file, the HTML file. We call it the layout. And then we want one more. We call it the um, content. That's fine. When we have this uh, file, we want in the layout, we want to, uh, one called title. And then we need a content block. It's called uh, block. It's uh, mean you have some array we want to um, replace in the later use. And let's call this for content in this point. And inside here we say missing content include. And then we basically create the one more here called block. And block. And when we finished here, we, uh, we will save the layout file and going for our content. In content, we uh, we don't need all of those because this is uh, it's, it's taking the data from the layout. So we will make uh, extend here. So we will extend uh, with a file called layout, and then we close it again. And now, if we include the content, you will. Um, include the the, the layout uh, also, so that's meaning we are ready to replace contents inside the layout file. I hope you are, you get the point of what I mean. I will show you, of course. So say block uh, content. It's here, and we say content page, and inside here content test page and then we need to end the blog again so easy it is when you do it in the HTML way so let's go in for the Python file here and now we are ready to build the, the Python file here when we have changed to first we want to import the Jinja 2 import OS Probably we need this, and then we make the ginger environment. It's a ginger two environment. It's a big E, and then we say loader should be file system loader is equal to template. That's which folder we place all our templates inside. So that's what we want, and then we say template here. It's Jinja environment and get the template. It's content.html. And what we want to do now, it's to print it out. So template and render. And if we run it here, you can see we have the content test. That's the content inside here. And we have the HTML and the body closing and the, and the opening up here. It's coming from our layout file. Uh, but you can see we, we're missing the title here uh, and that's what we're gonna fix it now go back for the the app python so let's making the the title so we have a title i'll say jinjava and then we make one here and say title and this is a test content page that's what we want 
and you just copy this and put it into the render so it's putting your biops inside here and then snowing when you render it. So let's try this again and then scrolling up still have this and here it is. So now we know the title is binding and because we extend it inside a content it's snow it can use it inside here. So remember don't have uh, duplicate variables inside when you're working with the with your templates. I would prefer you probably make something like that, meter title or something like that, because title could be the page title or something. So that's yeah, that's a recommending from me to you. So that's it. Now you know how you can working with the layout and the the content with Ginger. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy. I hope you want to subscribe my channel. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can go in the right corner below and press on the thing. This will help my channel very much. And the source code, you can find the links in the comments below. Not the comments, in the description, sorry. And then you can go in for my GitHub profile. You can subscribe me inside GitHub too, so you know when, when I create something new. And I hope you really like it. If you have any questions, please make the comments below. And like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to put it in your playlist so you have it for later use. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.